Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a very casual video about annotating and kind of my annotating journey, how I annotate, my annotating supplies, and all things annotating. So I have had an on and off relationship with annotating throughout my whole reading career basically. Um, so I first started annotating, I think the first book I ever annotated, I was maybe in my freshman year of high school and I was reading, this is like the second or third one, but I was reading this series, which I don't even know what it's called, the Iron Fae series um, by Julie Kagawa and look at this mess. So I have just kept this series because it's so nostalgic for me. But I didn't want to write in my books back then. So I would put these huge yellow sticky notes in there. And I would write all of my thoughts on them. And then I would stick them in the book like this. And going back and reading them is so funny to me. Because I was 14 and it's just funny. And my handwriting is like... You can barely even read my handwriting in the notes. But yeah. I like this I would just write very stream of conscious things which is actually so what I do um I'm not writing anything profound in them I'm just kind of writing what comes to my mind like this one says oh so sweet favorite scene question mark so that's what I was doing when I was 14 um and then this one says who didn't see that coming so yeah, those are the kinds of things that I was writing when I was 14 and the way that I was annotating. Um, I don't think I did that for very many books, though. Um, probably when I was closer to 16, I started reading City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. And I lose a random envelope in it, but this is probably my bookmark, honestly. But I started reading City of Bones, and like I said, I was like 16. So I started annotating this and I did not write in this. I still was not okay with writing in my books, but I did tab it with much smaller tabs, but I didn't write anything. Like I don't have a sticky note in here saying anything. I don't know what I was tabbing or what my thoughts were. There's just tabs in it. So that's what I was doing when I was 16. And again, I don't think I was tabbing very many things back then. I also couldn't tell you what the different colors mean. Um, maybe, yeah, no idea what the different colors mean. So that's what I was doing then. Then I, after I was 16 and I probably annotated a couple books, I never really annotated again until 2021. I wanted the beginning of 2021. So about a year ago, I wanted to try annotating again. So the first book that I annotated was down Among the Six and Bones by Shonda McGuire. And I used these tabs that I just got for Walmart because they're all I had and they're very big. Um, but, and I do have a, so like I said, this is the first time I tried to re-annotate again. So everyone that I had seen mostly would use um, sticky notes that were all different colors and they would coordinate with something so I have pink is love, blue is sad, green is favorite quotes, orange is something I didn't like, yellow is shocking, or plot twist. So um, I even underlined, I underlined the part that I was talking about in a matching pen. Um, I'll get a little closer so you can see. But so I would underline oops, that one fell off, but I would underline what I was talking about in the matching pen. And I didn't write anything though. I do feel like, I'm going to take this off. Okay. Sorry if the video quality looks different. I had to turn my camera around because I was having a hard time showing you what I was talking about without being able to see myself. So anyways, sometimes there would be a whole passage that I wanted to mark and instead of underlining it all I would just do brackets around it um yeah so that's what I was doing then and this is the only book that I annotated at the time and then 
I was still not really reading physical books at this time. I was mostly just reading on my Kindle. So I really just stopped for a while. And then I got House of Sky and Breath by Sarah J. Mass. And I really wanted to annotate this bad boy. So that's what I did. And this time I used different tabs that I got from Walmart again. Um, they still stick out not that far, but kind of far in the book. Um, but I also decided to match the cover to the tabs because I like the way that looks. So I have blue, green, and yellow, which kind of goes. Um, this one, I also have a key in the beginning. So I have, also it's a much more simple key though because I'm only using three colors. So I do like to do this still with fantasy books sometimes is just pick a few colors and use those three instead of all the ones that you saw in Among the Six and Bones. I found that I didn't really care about things to mark out and remember things like character names and their backgrounds or certain parts of world building like I just don't really care to refer back to which other people do and that's why they do that but for me it's just not something I really care about annotating in my book because I have a much more stream of consciousness approach where I just want to interact with the text and less like remember important elements if that makes sense I feel like if I was annotating something like this to do like a book discussion or um a book review or something then I would be a little bit more in depth about what I am annotating but because I'm wasn't doing that with this I didn't feel the need I hope that makes sense but anyways so the three colors I have yellow is important information green is things I appreciate slash like anything I want to point out and then blue is romance so yes and then this is the first book that I actually so I was underlining with pen and then I was writing a comment in the margins of the book. So that is the first book that I actually was writing down thoughts, my thoughts inside of the book. And again, they're nothing crazy. And again, I am bracketing things that are like too much to underline. So yeah, I'm really just writing like, like this one says, oh shit. Like those are the kinds of things I'm writing in my book. It's nothing like too much, but it's just like, it gives me a good way to interact with the text. And I really, really love that. I just feel like I'm more involved in the reading experience and I have a better reading experience when I'm annotating. And sometimes I don't write anything or highlight anything. I, it's just random really. Like I just like this whole page and I put a tab on it. So yes, um, this one, I didn't underline anything, but I did write, she's the girl question mark. Um, so yeah, it's really just random what I'm feeling at the time, um, with kind of a system, if that makes sense. I did a couple more books like that. Um, so for how to get away with, uh, a good, how to get away with murder for a good girl's guide to murder. I did the same exact thing that I did with, um, House of Sky and Breath, except I only used one color, especially because this is not a fantasy series. I felt like one color was all I needed. I really, because this was like a murder mystery book and you're trying to figure out what it was, I wrote a lot of theories in the book, as you can see. Um, don't read that if you haven't read this book. But yeah, I wrote a lot of theories in it. Um, I was highlighting a lot of like important information for the case. And this book was really fun to annotate. Like I had a really great time with this. So yeah, that's what I was doing for this book. And also it starts with us. I did the same exact thing. I just used pen and I was underlining. I drew a little heart. Um, I do have a key in the beginning of this one because I used different colors. So blue is for romance. Yellow is for favorite parts and um, like funny or relatable things. And then orange has its own tab and it's called Ryle being a piece of shit. So that's that. Again, I wanted to match the tabs to the colors. I really, really like doing that. I love it. So again, this has the same commentary of just 
my thoughts while I'm reading. Then I decided I really loved annotating and I wanted to keep going with it. So I decided to get myself some different annotating supplies to try out. So what I do now is I actually use different tabs and I got a bunch of them off of Amazon and I use highlighters to mark in my books and I will show you what I have. So what I used for House of Sky and Breath and It Starts With Us, I think I said they're from Walmart, but they're actually from Staples and they're just these and they're actually really expensive for just this little pack. So I don't actually recommend these, but that's what I was using for these and I still have some. And then from Amazon, I bought a few packs of these tabs and then there's these ones too that are just straight and then these ones like clip into a notebook um, and I have lots of different colors. I just have all my packs mix up. There are a ton of different ones available on Amazon of these and I think they're pretty much all the same. Um, the only downside, they're really pretty if you want to match them to your covers, but the only downside I would say is, um, there's a lot of these blue colors in them, which is great if you read a lot of blue books, I guess, but yeah, there's just a lot of like blues and I wish there was a little bit more variety of the colors. I do also have these like neon fluorescent ones, the red's missing on that one these neon fluorescent ones that everyone really, really loves. And I like these because the other ones are more like a pastel color and these ones have um, more bright colors. And I found it really hard to find red in these packs. And this one has a really good red on it. And a lot of my books are red and I'm always using this red tab. So yes, these are also from Amazon and I will link them down below. So like I said, I started using highlighters. Sorry if you can hear my neighbor's rooster, but I started using highlighters instead of pens. So I have all of these zebra midliners. I got one pack at Walmart and I got the other pack off of Amazon. Um, these are really popular. They're like everywhere. I really like them. They do, I w they don't bleed through, but you can see them. You can kind of see a shadow on the other side. So you can see I highlighted right there and wrote in it. I also write with these midliners now instead of a pen because they have two ends. So that one is like the highlighting end. And then they have a fine tip end that I use to write with. So I really like the, how that works out for me. Um, and you can kind of see through the page, but that doesn't bother me at all. So yeah, that's something I don't mind. But um, I also pick one highlighter for the whole book. I don't switch my highlighters to match my tabs. Um, I have a hard enough time keeping track of the one highlighter I'm using in my book, so I couldn't imagine doing more than that. But yeah, these midliners are great. I do really wanna try out the really pretty pastel ones that I've seen on Amazon. Um, so I will get those eventually and try them out and let you know if I like them. But yeah, so these are what I'm using. There's a bunch of different colors. Um, you can get even more colors in this and I really love them. So um, to move on, I'm just gonna show you some other books that I've annotated and I kind of stick with the same system that I said. I either pick one solid color for it or I pick up two or three colors and I just stick with that. Like for this one, I didn't make a key because it's all the same colors. Um, and also a lot of times I'll pick one color to start in a book and then if there's something else that's like a completely different category or I want to make it a category, I add a tab and I start adding that tab into the book while I'm going, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to show you some other books that I've annotated. Um, I have Keeping Thir no, Binding 13 by Chloe Walsh and this one I have two different colors because I have one that's just for general things that I like. Or want to point out romance whatever and then I also have a tab just for a certain character in here named Gibsy that was hilarious so all of his funny scenes I highlighted in a oh well, I tabbed in a different color um and I didn't put a key or I did put a key and if I'm gonna do more than one color I always put a key a key just so I can keep track of it when I look back. So romance is this peachy color and then the more red color is Gibsy being funny. So that's what I do there. Um, this is a fantasy book that I annotated recently and there's two different colors in that. 
Um, and this one literally is just red is for romance. And this really, you probably can't see it, but it's a really light pink color is for other. So anything that's not romance, um, I will do it that way. And this is a really annotated page. Um, sometimes I'll draw little hearts and stuff, but so I obviously liked just this, these whole, this whole section. So I bracketed it and then I highlighted like certain parts that really took out. Um, this says this is so romantic. So this is obviously like a romance page. Um, and yeah, this is a page that like shows me in full annotating force. I'm not someone that like overly annotates their books. I know a lot of people like do that plus more for like a lot of the book, but really I don't do so much of that. I really keep it more simple. Here's another book I annotated recently and you can see the tabs are barely sticking out if we compare it to if we compare it to House of Sky and Breath for example they stick out a lot further and then Among the Sick and Bones they stick out a crazy amount. So I really like how this looks more. I think it just looks more clean and yeah I enjoy that look. Um Again, I used a green highlighter, a green tab, and then I just write in it. Here's another book I annotated recently, which is Belladonna by Adeline Grace. Um, so we have three different tabs in this one. We have a character being funny, which is this light purple. And then we have romance, which is the green. And then the darker purple is things I like slash other. So we just have those three tabs going on in here. Same thing. I'm just highlighting. Um... And okay, this is a good example of, it's a green tab because it's for romance, but I didn't change my highlighter color. My highlighter color stays the same and it's purple. So yeah, I really, like I said, just love annotating because it's a good way for me to interact with my text. It keeps me more engaged in what I'm reading and it really makes my reading experience that much better. So that's how I annotate. There's I wish there was more of a system that I could share with you, but there's really not. And it changes from time to time. Um, let me know your favorite way to annotate a book, why you annotate your books, and your favorite annotating materials if you want in the comments below. I'd love to hear. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was much more of a casual video, kind of rambly. Probably didn't make much sense, but I've had someone ask me before about annotating, so I figured I would sit down to make this video now that I have a few books that I've annotated under my belt, and I will continue to annotate all my physical books because I just love it so, so much. So yeah, that's all for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.